place first. Is it working? Looks like it is. All right. There. Let's find where my jacket point is. Oh, jeez. Always easier to have the lock. <sighs> this was the right end. There we go. Doop. Let's try to get me There we go. Have they been broken or not? Yep. Everybody can see everything. I'm trying to put this on. Yeah. Actually, this is the one bottom holding it on. This. There we go. There we go. One wheel off. Good step. any tread on these. Probably should get that replaced. Get the car moved here. There we go. All right. Next off, we need to find which one it is I need to take off. I think it was a 14 last time. Yeah, it was 14, I think. Is this a 14 also? Ah, okay, they're both 14s. That's good. Uh, where's the wrench?
Pew. Uh, definitely not the extender I'm looking for. Finagle my way through this. There we go. So we're taking off the caliper. Yeah, I just haven't set it up far. So you guys are just gonna see the side view the whole time. Right now I'm taking off the bolts for the main caliper. See if I can get you guys a good view on this. Wish this stand was a little bit shorter, but it works. It works. It works. Check out these back bolts. This little thing will probably slide right off here in a second. Ooh, I forgot I greased those. There we go. Back caliber. Of any car, almost any car, unless you have big brakes. Then you have two caliber instead of a single caliber, or two piston instead of a single piston. Let's see, how are these looking? Uh, I got a little bit left. Good amount of left. There, okay, there we go. Stay off this back one. There's your brake pads. Brake pads are off. Okay, so now I need to take out the caliber. So it should be easier. <laughs> Don't have to fight a cord in the way. Or it won't be easier because it's overly tightened. Holy crap, okay, this thing's kicking my butt. <sighs> Come on. <clears throat> there we go. That's how you dink yourself everywhere. <laughs> there we go. Wish I had a breaker bar. This would be a little bit easier. The two bolts, we need to make sure we don't mess up these bolts here. Alright, so now we need to take off the rotor. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to pull this off. So, let's grab the bolts that I have here. I need a 10. Give you guys an idea. So, there's little bolts in here I allow you to grip on. Since I have a manual, I can actually set this in first gear so these rotors don't actually spin. And get it in here. Come on. There we go. Back axles aren't spinning, so that's always good. Okay, we need a 10. I don't know where my 10s are. I feel blind because I can't figure out where my 10 is. Is this my 10? No, that's 11. Okay, 10's right there. I didn't get it in all the way. Ah, wrong side. There we go. Get my tins now. Slide it in. There we go. So what this does is pushes it off after it gets mounted a little bit. Because after a while your rudder has build up around it. It keeps it on the main piece here that rotates. So me doing this will actually slowly back it off. There we go, now it's getting tighter. Let's get this side first. This just breaks it off here. Really nice technique. I'm getting this out easy. So it's 
slowly breaking that off. I don't know if these have to be done evenly, but I'm doing it either way. There we go. I just saw the rotor pop off. I can slide it off now. So let's just back these out so I don't forget about them. So kind of just show a little bit rusty at the end. That's basically just build up from water and everything, driving the vehicle. It gets crusty. Break stuff and everything that goes down into your wheel well slowly builds up. There we go. All right, and that's sliding me off my rotor. Huh, didn't realize that. All right, so this is the back rotor. Just seeing if there's any heat warping. You'll see little marks and everything. These actually look really good. Only one spot that I kind of saw is a little bit heat warping right here, but I think that might have been from my hand and its dirtiness. So let's grab the new motor rotor. Somebody started up the bike. Okay. Some new rotors are slotted. Put it down here because I need to clean this baby out here real quick. So another thing that goes on is these get built up. For anybody watching, if anybody's even watching, your brake pads will build up stuff on it. And just kind of gets dirty. And what you want to do is you want to clean it. And this time I brought down a cleaner for it if I can get it all off. I had to clean it the best, but I gotta clean it a little bit. It's a little bit nicer, and your brakes usually work a little better because you can some more gel. It's actually a Mustang. But I guess we're Wish I had a smaller brush. I could go into the smaller crevice a little bit better. So kind of just give you, this is it cleaned a little bit, and this is how it looks kind of like dirty. So, got to get that fixed. Do, 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 do. as it could be. Whew. Man, talk about buildup, man. I've only had these new brakes on for, I think about a year, give or take. Changing them out last year, I think February. February or April. Or, no, February or March, actually, I think. So man, got some definitely build up here. And I'll go through here and just try to get out anything. I can just kind of slide off with some towels I have here. But the one side came out nice. This side's a little bit dirtier only because the brush is not clean. Let me actually grab a towel here. And we'll clean it a little bit more. Now with that, we got that a little bit clean. Let's try to get these off here a little bit. Just kind of just wipe it. And I'm not using normal towels. I'm using kind of a thicker towel. Uh, usually used for cleaning of spill ups, like oil spills and all that, that you do around your car. Really good rags. I got nothing better to use right now, so this is what I'm using. There we go. Let's get this other side here. That hurts. Please be aware the metal does tend to be a little bit sharp. And it can be painful. <laughs> you uh, stab yourself on accident, which I tend to do a lot. 
So everybody watching, hope you guys are having a good one or enjoying this, other than it's just me cleaning at this moment. I have the rotor sitting down below me here, and we'll be adding that on. And I think my chat's working, but it's not working. So give me one second here, because I see stuff on my thing. Oh, I can't read that. Give me a second here. I just realized my chat is not working on the browser. Or I don't see anything. I see everything coming through on the video stream, but I don't see it on my browser here, which means I can't read it at this moment. So give me one second here. If I can get a little bit of a pinky or something on this. Uh, let's try scaling it. Maybe I can just scale this video. Uh, did you front yesterday for the back? Uh, to the front yesterday now for the back. Yep, that's it. Uh, Red or Bart, Bart Rico. There you are. Brake clean is some great stuff. Yeah, I forgot the brake clean. And I'm trying to figure out, let me refresh this page real quick. I want to see if my my chat will start working. Because that's weird how my chat's not working at all. <laughs> yeah, I didn't buy any brake cleaner. I actually had D Squeaker. I thought it was brake cleaner that I had. I am stupid. That's what I am. There we go. I think my chat connected now. So I should be able to see. There we go. So, what I've been doing is just using the metal brush and cleaning. Um, don't know when those messages came in since, you know, I'm, like I said, I didn't realize my chat wasn't working. <laughs> so, anyways, that's much cleaner than I did my cleaning yesterday, which is also nice. Uh, could probably be better, but I think this does the job for this. <laughs> All right, let's go and put on the new rotors. Yeah. Let's see here. One bolt, two bolt. Get my fingers out of that. There we go. That has barely any jiggle. That is awesome. The new rudder is on. That is nice. That, that doesn't jiggle at all. Man, yesterday I was fighting that like no tomorrow. It's awesome. <laughs> okay, now we need the long bolts. Long bolt goes in. This is for the caliber clamp. It's basically the holder. I don't even know what the official name is. Does anybody know the official name for this? Because I do not. I just know it holds the caliber that you have. I don't even know the official name. I feel stupid. There we go. Yeah. This whole thing's all dirty. Look at this back. I think this back will be quicker than the front. It took me a while for the front. So, I have that. As you can see, this won't spin because I have it in first gear for a stick. Now we just need brake pads. Oh, let's grab out the Hawk brake pads here. And I need to pull out the knife. Yeah, I'm very bad at prepping this. Your car don't have it, so you don't bother to learn. What? <laughs> yeah, but yours is a little bit more, because it's kind of like when I pulled this off, you could see the inside, you know, e-brake, the, the presses out on the rotor. Yours, does, yours should have something of that mechanism, since yours is a drum. That one I don't replace. <laughs> I actually just pop this. Oh man. How's everybody doing on this Saturday though while I uh, try to cut this here? Come on. There we go. We are good. We have liftoff now. There we go. Oh, these things look like beauties. Let's see here. I should take out my hawk sticker and set that on my car. You know, be one of those. There we go. These things look like beauties, man. New brake pads. Oh, man, they have a lot of brake left. Let's see here. Let me find my old one here real quick. My old one's about halfway through, maybe a quarter, uh, one-fourth through. No, nah, three-fourths is left, so. So much nicer. <laughs> so dirty, so clean. <laughs> Let's go and get these on. Yeah, <laughs> and Brosy. <laughs> Everything's bigger. 
Yeah, that is true. Yours are definitely bigger. That's good to hear, Bart Rico. <laughs> oh, shit. I can't see that one. Give me a sec. I need to slide in here. There we go. And again, I don't have the caliper tool, so we're going to be pressing this against the brake pads and having it push in the caliper. If I can get it, do it right. Come on, caliper. A little bit more. So right now what I'm doing is pushing in this piston. So this piston comes out for anybody that hasn't ever done this before. Whenever you use it, your piston actually works its way up. So whenever your wheel starts spinning and you're not on the brakes, it actually slowly pushes it out. So your brakes are always partially initiated to some extent. But once they back their ways out, they shouldn't be dragging on your rotor. If they are, then got some things to fix there. Okay, let's see if I have this just about right. Nope. A little bit farther. There we go. Okay. So it's usually you use a tool and it'll, it'll go right here, push it right in. But in this case, I'm stupid. Didn't buy the tool. Okay, there we go. Now I can slide this baby on. Get to this side, which is a little bit more pushed out. There we go. There we go. We got the caliber on. Let's go on. Push this baby into it. Oops, wrong one. Easier if I grab the right bolt. <laughs> How you doing, Nitro Four Game? <laughs> oh, come on, I'm trying to find the bolt here. Yeah, come on, there we go. So I'm thinking I'm a little bit angled out, but let's see if I can get a little bit better view. There we go. I'm just putting in the main bolt for the caliber here. You got man strength. No tool needed. <laughs> yeah, I got feet strength. That's what it feels like. <laughs> I don't know about man strength. I'm pretty weak. Ugh. And I don't have that one. No, I do have it lined up. Okay, we're good. So now it's just tightening everything. And that is definitely not the right bolt. Yeah. So on this type of car, I have 14s for the back calibers. So the front is, I think it was a 14 and a 16. It was really weird. Going in. I feel like the thing's spinning. It shouldn't be. There we go. Got some body weight on it. You don't want to over tighten these because then it's going to be a pain to get off later, but just making sure to tighten this all the way as I can. That's all I need is to lose a break. <laughs> I have Vena? Verna? What does that mean, uh, Nitro? I have Verna, I, now I feel stupid. What is Verna? <clears throat> there we go. There we go, we got the caliber already replaced on the right side. Caliber and brake pads have been changed. So now we need to sit back on the wheel, and then we'll migrate to the other side here in a second. Move this out of the way. That back in here. I'm gonna pull out my sticker. You know, gotta get my Soptex stickers. Whew. And just so you guys can see, I have like no treads left. I probably need to replace these tires. Oh, it's a Hyundai? Oh, I didn't know that. See, I think I knew cars. I don't know cars. <laughs> Here I'm lined up right there, so come on, should be right on that one. I'm trying to get on the top bolt here. Here yeah, that one is. I know what it is. I do this. There we go. There we go. Much easier. <laughs> Too close to the ground. 
Good, and I don't have a lot of fuel. Ah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the reason why I haven't replaced them is because I've been doing the drifting, so it's literally killing the back tires. And since I'm killing the back tires, I might as well just wait until I get it far enough. And I didn't realize it actually got pretty close to that thread line. So I'll probably be replacing them here pretty soon. Back tires are probably just like hating me. Luckily, the front tires looked actually pretty good, so that's good. Too bad I can't rotate my front to my back. Two different sizes here. There we go. Ah. <laughs> they'll grow back. I wish they'll grow back. That would be nice. It would be the cheapest tire I ever had if it grew back like that. <laughs> Actually, let's see if it even says what these are. Outside. It doesn't even say the width and size, does it? I'm really forgetful on what ones I have. I think I have 245s by 35 in the back. But this thing isn't telling me shit. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we got all those set in. What should be good. Let's see if this jack will work correctly and go slowly. Nope, oh, let's go hard. It's all right, guys, that's what it is. <laughs> okay. There we go. One down. Okay, I thought I was there. Maybe I'm not. I think I had much farther to go. <laughs> A pair of those shoes. <laughs> I've had these shoes for so long. Dude, I had these shoes when I knew you in, uh, in uh, Hawaii, Zuku. I have never replaced these because I haven't found the need to yet. Two down. There we go. So I'm torquing these to about 95, 98 on this thing. Recommended is usually 90. So I want a little bit over just for safety. I know my luck on anything going standard, I don't get what I need for standard. <laughs> Sorry, Red, your thing got restarted for an update, man. I hate that. I'm getting some Windows 10 fun shit, right? Huh. Just realized I got blackness on my thing. There we go. Yeah, let's see here. Last bolt. And we should be good on this side, and then we'll move to the other side. Yep. All right, let me migrate.
make sure nothing goes out. Need that, need that, need that. No, oh, sorry guys, got to move everything over to the other side here before I can continue on. Oop. Guys, I'm back. Took me a few seconds here. Oh, if I can get the stand to hold on to what I needed to. All right, need this. <laughs> Wait, what flip phone are you still using? Phone from 1995 because it's now broken. I don't think there was flip phones in 1995, Zuku. I think you need to recheck that. I think 1995, we sell those freaking long ass brick phones, man. As big as your hand, sometimes a little bit bigger. Okay, one of these actually engulfed the whole thing. That's not the right one. I think it's this one. There we go. One down. Two down. <laughs> when you know you don't work out and when you're like just give in where they just keep on shaking because you're not using them right there we go and last one man this one's actually tighter than I thought come on There we go. I think it got torqued on there. I hope it didn't mess up the bolt. Let's lift up the car here. Progress. Oh, one sec. I just lost something. Here we go. Hey, Cash, how you doing? <laughs> well, we're at, I think it's like 98 here right now. Oh. It's annoying. Luckily I have shade. <laughs> I don't know, if you're nearby, I would love to do it with you. I love cars. I just don't know a lot about them half the time. I'm trying to get more into cars here. That's why you see me doing this. How you doing, Cash? I to see you drop by. An impact, an impact, or just a, anything that would automatically do this would be so nice. Uh, let's try to get the lower one here. Come on, get on. There we go. <laughs> Boop. So you're, you're working on your car with the weather. I left my ass running here in Florida. Isn't too awful. <laughs> oh, luckily it's not at the high temp. I think it's supposed to be in the hundreds here pretty soon. Hopefully my wheel doesn't pop off here. I do this. I have more tread on this tire than I had on the last tire. I just realized this. It's good. I definitely need to replace this. Man, these tires are not cheap though. Oh, 135 each. Just kind of show you guys this is the tread so these little markers for anybody that doesn't know too much about cars or trying to basically wear you if you start hitting these dimples so once i hit these far two ones i should replace these tires 
in this case, I get to dra drifting, so what I do is I just keep on going until I have tire fridge fall off, and then I switch tires. Oh. Little fun fact for you guys. Yeah, I wish I had an impact, but I don't know where I'd be able to use it at. Only because, you know, I'm, like I said yesterday, 80 feet away or so from the house, and I had to put up an EP to point straight out here just to be able to get the Wi Fi on the laptop here. All right, we need to dupe my 14. Let's go and pull off this caliber here. Uh, I think you guys can see, but let me migrate you guys here. There you go. Ah, oh, man. There we go. So, let's go and break these calipers off. Come on, Bolt. Be better than my friend on the other side. There we go, one Bolt. Cash, have you ever worked on your car before? Ah. Oh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, man. Well, this is actually much simpler than having it go in because I think usually changing out brakes and uh, brake pads and rotors, I think it costs like 150 or something at the shop. That's not including buying the brake pads unless you're done, have them give you some cheap ones. There we go. There we go. This is the caliber off. For anybody that hasn't seen it, that caliber is a one piston since I'm on the back. Front has two on most stock cars. Let's see if I can get this one right. Oh, there we go. Impact. <laughs> so useful. 20k miles, I'm going to have to start learning here. I'm no longer covered by the dealership. <laughs> it's 30. Ah, oh, man. Now you're making me jealous. I would be having a garage, but uh, some things fell through whenever I first moved here. So I don't have a garage. You see me doing it out here in the public. Come on, come on. I can't get my weight on this. Cow. <laughs> I'm gonna blame my dad for this one. Whenever we last changed out my brake pads. Holy cow. I scraped myself across my freaking springs. Holy cow. Ooh. I want rain. <laughs> You should be slicing open your finger when you're doing car work. I don't think I've done that. Now you install the supercharger. <laughs> I take off the main bolt, taking off the air flow and everything. There we go. Okay. Let's see if this thing just falls. Oh, almost. Oop. There we go. This is the holder for it. Oh, there we go. These brake pads are pretty good. I just have to clean them. Get some brake cleaner and just clean the shit out of that. All right, let's go and move these bolts here because I need to clean this brake pad, this caliper holder. Doop. Ah. Floods, that's easy. Uh, what about my car? What does Murdoch ask about my car? Gosh, other than I have a cord, I just realized that's going right down the center of that. There we go. So what about my car, is he asking? It's a 2014 BRZ. Uh, it is a flat four, supposed to make 200 horsepower stock at the block, about 178 at the wheels. 
Um, my car is not stock anymore, so I have a supercharger on it. The uh, supercharger pushes 14 pounds of boost. With that 14 pounds of boost on E85, I make 344 wheel horsepower. I have a catch can installed for air and oil uh, separator on it, since that would be bad for the pistons. Um, to go any higher, I could probably push more boost, but I haven't, only because most likely I'll throw a rod or a piston through the block, which I'll rather just rebuild the block so it supports it. That makes sense if you know any of that. <laughs> I need the bag. I don't have the bag out. Let's keep on doing this. We're getting down. So right now I'm just cleaning up the calibers a little bit. Usually when you put on the brake pads, you want to set the gel that comes with it. I'm being stupid. I want to experiment to see what it does and what it actually affects or not. Only because it's supposed to help it move the brake pads away and back on. Um, it's really good to have. I'm one of those people that I like to experiment by my own car, like an idiot. This means it'll just be harder for them to back off. There we go. Alright, so now we're a little bit cleaner. So when I put the new brake pads on, we should be good. I need to pull off the calibers. Um, let me actually just manually go over this with my towel I have here. Uh, I'm going to try to read your questions here if there's any. Uh, what kind of car stuff like that? Uh, okay. The fact that it keeps you me from moving to Florida. I cannot relay all that uh, <laughs> uh, and it's not an easy repair if you throw it through the block. That's another like five to five to ten grand, depending on the block and if it's a V8 or anything for that Zuku. And cash, I'm sorry. Well, you can clip it if you clip that little scene that I just did. You know, you might be able to just relay that to him. <laughs> That's easier. There we go. I think that side's pretty clean. Oh wait, I missed a little spot there. There we go. That's what we're looking for. We're still a little bit dirty on this side, so we gotta clean that. Let's try to pull that through. So I guess I'll, I'll give you the quick rundown. It's a BRZ 2014 Subaru. It is supercharged and makes 344 wheel horsepower. Hopefully that's the quickest way to go about that for you, Cash. <laughs> Main goal is 500 horsepower at the wheels at least in time. But instead now it's pre preparing it for track days or drifting days, however you want to count it. And brake work is never nice. Oh, never pretty afterwards. Okay. So for those who haven't done uh, rotors before, since I know some people have joined that I've never seen before, on here at least. <laughs> uh, it sounds the best, I'm just saying. Might be a little advice. <laughs> Thank you, Cash, for clipping. And V8 sounds the best. I won't disagree on that. But when it comes to just a quick car that I've had on hand, I don't have a V8. You make me jealous with your 73, man, with the V8 302 in it. Love to have a V8. I don't think I would want to drop it in this car, though. It would be really off-balance. Actually, I just realized, did this have this in the other one? I don't remember that there. Oh, I need it. There we go. So, for anybody new, what I'm doing is, since I can't pull off the rotor myself, I have a bolt for this. This bolt goes in and tr basically pushes it off of the grind that actually builds up on your rotor and the main thing it's connected to. And what you do is you, oh, I didn't get that one in all the way, I thought I did. All right, let's do this manually here real quick. Let's see here, please go in, there we go. It just breaks it from that stuff, and then I can just yank it out here in a second. There we go. Boom. As you can see, it's slowly moving. And you hear that pop? That means it's fully off. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out these bolts so these bolts can be hit any time I do rotors, just for safety. Uh, the 302 saddens you. It still makes an awesome noise, man. Oh, uh, okay, that's not if he told you it was a 350. Sorry, man. Still sounds awesome, though. If it's a V8, no matter what, even if it's a 302, that thing sounds baller, especially with you having no exhaust on it. And there we go. Let's see if there's any warping on this. So you can see kind of warping. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but what you see is it's really shiny, but it's a little bit dark right here. This is just from heat from the pads going off on your engine, or on the rotors. I don't see too much warping, so that means these rotors actually did pretty good with me. I didn't kill them yet. <laughs> oh, let me grab my other rotor here. Yep. Ah, there we go. There goes the truck. There we go. Most likely it's a truck. And then we have the new rotors. They're slotted. This is just to help out with heat so they don't get overheated. And this one actually has a dimple, so I need to go and remove that other dimple real quick. And put that dimple back in. There we go. I don't think my other side had a dimple, did it? Oh, I'm seeing it. I did. Guys, I might have to go back to those head. I didn't see the dimple. Just got to take off the wheel and put it back on that dimple. There we go. <laughs> well, you can easily add like a little small pull to it so it doesn't dump right there in front of you at the firewall, man. <laughs> That would suck though. I, I will agree with you. That noise would be really loud. I had my headers mess up. I had to get them fixed on Friday since my headers, I guess, backed out. Man, that thing. My car didn't sound right. <laughs> it doesn't sound loud like a V8, but it did not sound right. The smell of gas was awesome. <laughs> yeah. So just put them back on this clamp here. And then I didn't need to go and put back in the dimple whenever I go to the other side here because I had to pull back off the wheel to put back on the dimple. Unless I can see through the thing, I might be able to put back on the dimple. I don't think I can though. <sighs> Alright, uh, we don't need to put those in yet. Let's actually tighten this baby so I don't have to go back for it. And then tighten. There we go. All right, guys, you have a good one. <laughs> yeah, I think that's tight enough. Oh, if I just use the car, wait here real quick. There we go. Now I'm done over these. I'll just bitch last next time I do this. <laughs> kidding me guys I did stupid again yeah I did stupid again eh, whatever ah, I did stupid well we'll see if this works <laughs> only because I keep on forgetting brake pads have a little bit different setup and I did stupid but we're gonna see if this works without it ah there we go and that grind buildup is just bad. No matter what. Definitely need new piece. Oh. Alright, let's push back in this caliber here. This piston that it has. Oh, there we go. Man, this one was much easier.
There we go. Progress. Ugh, shorter bolt. Let's see here. Where are we lined up here? There we go. Bought a 50 CT Corolla color pencil set. Oh, nice. <laughs> Uh, it is uh, more motivating than you have when you have more colors to choose from. <laughs> I think anything with more options is pretty motivating normally. I don't think it's just coloring when it comes to that. <laughs> well, my left side will squeak like no tomorrow whenever those brake pads get left. <laughs> if they don't already squeak, how it's going to be set up. Oh, man. Yep. Get the bottom one up. Whew. It should be good. I think we have all uh, that covered, so now it's just putting back on the wheel and making sure I have none of my trash fly away. Oop. Put that in there, put that in there. Alright guys, let's go and put this wheel back on so I'm going to scoot you guys farther away. Oh. <laughs> Goddamn, the windows up to you slow. Yeah, the latest one is. <sighs> Come on. Thought I had it lined up. Let's see here. Gotta rotate this a little bit. There we go. We got it, guys. We're on. We're on. That's a little bit off. There we go. Oh, here it is. 245 by 35 R18s. There we go. I was wondering what that was. I didn't see it on the other one. Oop. I have trash flying at my hands. There we go. I saw something else pop up, but I can't see it. Oh. Brakes and calibers completed. Now I just need to go and put it back in that dimple, man. Can't believe I forgot it on the other side. And I'll definitely have to take off the tire. So we'll be migrating back to the other side real quick. I thought I was going to be done, be happy, be like, man, I did this even quicker than normal. Nope. <laughs> that is a nope. <laughs> Some dum dum. Didn't feel like you know doing the right job job. So it should be a quick like what five minute thing. Just have to pop off the wheel, put on the dimple, pop the wheel back on. I don't even know what that dimple is actually used for. Actually, that's that's the new thing for me. There we go. All right, wheels down. Let's uh, where are you? Let's go and tighten this baby. Oh. Sorry for yanking on the cable. Throw some 22s. I had to roll. I had to roll the inside of my car if I did 22s. There we go.
18s are just barely making it where I don't have to roll it. There we go. That's why I haven't gone bigger. <laughs> I don't think I need that much bigger tires though. <laughs> don't need to be balling. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do something here real quick. Uh, oh. There we go. Put back on the e-brake. <laughs> Okay, I think I was working on this one first. Let's go back to that. And there we go. Okay, did I hit this one? Yes, I did. One final one. If I can get my tool on. All right, all my bolts should be snugged. I'm gonna migrate back to the other side here real quick. Let me uh, grab the two tools I need. Three tools, I should say. Oh. Two tools, I need to grab one more tool here real quick. <laughs> there we go. Let's see here. I need bigger on mine with the rear lift. The tires look tiny. <laughs> well, you said you had 15s on it, didn't you? If I remember right, Red. Maybe I missed Red something. I thought you said you had 15s on it. Um, I am using the C920 uh, for this since I don't have an HDMI capture or I would use a better camera. Uh, I don't remember Lefty Light. Wow. Am I being stupid here? There we go. Yeah, I'm being stupid. Break that one off. Oh, I didn't tighten that one. I'm gonna have to go back and check this. That one was not tightened. I did this one. That would have been bad. Thought I got them all. Ooh, come on. And last one, but not least. This one's a little bit tight. Whew. I don't remember what they are. I have two sets of wheels and tires, and both are old and small stuff. <laughs> it's all good. Keep them back to stock. That's really what it is. Let's go a little bit higher. So I can just tuck my feet next time I do this. There we go. All right. Let's get this. We can get this done. We can call it good and be happy. But yeah, that's the webcam. Usually I use the main camera I have that you see me when I stream that's on me. Uh, that one I love using. It's not a webcam. It's actually a full video camera for other things. But
<laughs> Someone's giving a tour of the apartments. It looks like. There we go. All right, let me go and pop that dimple here before I slide this wheel all the way off. You should be good on that one. There we go. All right, where's that dimple? We have it right there. There we go, that dimple's on. This time maybe I'll make sure all the bolts are actually tightened. <laughs> Hopefully the audio is good just as like yesterday. Can't make any promises. But I believe so. Well, that looks like it's catching pretty good. Probably catching everything around me. Oop. I can't get that one on. No, it doesn't look like it's tweaked or anything. It just doesn't want to go on. Unless the main bolt is messed up. There we go. Thought I had it. Okay, let's go for this one real quick. That isn't my new stud. My new stud is in the front. I had somebody mess up my no idea what the dimple is for. Alright. Yeah, I have no idea either. I just realized I had it. I didn't see it on the front ones. But the back ones I have a dimple. I don't know if that's maybe because of the inside for the e-brake for the clamp that it has. It goes out. Maybe you can drain those or something or refix it if I put the dimple in the right spot. But I'm not gonna make any promises on that one. Oh man. Maybe I can hand get this one on. There we go. Got it. <laughs> that one didn't want to go on earlier. Might have just been off by a little bit or something. And my tires be dirty. <laughs> Progress. And as far as I can get it. Alright. Move my foot. I don't need the weight of the car on me. Alright, let's go and get this all tightened again. Go. Let's go for this one. Oh, it isn't as far as I thought it was. <laughs> I can't get it on. Ah, there we go. One done, two done. <laughs> You'd be dirty again, yeah. That's for sure. When is car stuff ever clean? <laughs> Actually, too far down. Probably tighten that way more than I needed to. All right, let's just make sure I did tighten all these because that last one came out like so quickly. There we go. Yep, we're good there. Please be aware this now. Burger Party probably should not be doing this with the torque wrench. There we go. Woo. There we go. And we are good, guys. We are good. 
Oh, man. I am so happy. That was actually much better than I thought. Oh, I did take this time, guys. About an hour. That is actually perfect. Much quicker than last time. Last time was kind of a learning curve. I'm trying to readjust the camera here. Oh, man. Let's see if I can just pop it over here. Ooh, oh. There we go. Oh, man. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Looks like I had more viewers this time. I'm happy you all joined. Oh, man. Let me, uh, let me run to the other side here. If you guys want to say anything to me, I will be right back. So I'll move you guys over to the other side of the car. Gotta do my secondary checks. Ah. That take out my antenna on my car. That would be nice to have still. There we go. So I did miss a bolt on that side. I'm happy I caught it. That's all I need is something flying away. <laughs> I got five studs, right? One stud missing, doesn't matter, right? 15 goes into 15. 10 and goes into 10. Get there. Put this one back down here. Take this out real quick. So right now I'm just doing clean up here. How are you guys uh, enjoying this stream? We're going to do more of these. Hopefully it's intuitive for anybody that's new that joined. Oh, man. The darkness, man. That thing, that lighting is crap. I didn't realize that. Great sun. Thank you. Thank you for messing up the white balance, man. I can go like this, my hand just looks totally black. I can't see. <laughs> Maybe I'll just put you guys down over here. And you guys get a better view. It's not so light. There we go. Oh, oh that works better. Uh, I need to grab other stuff over on the other side real quick. Oop. I got the rotor. Uh, I got the cleaning stuff. Nice. Brake pads, and I got a runaway bag. There we go, guys. <laughs> Had a runaway bag. That's great. All right, so we're going to go like this, put that in there. Have all the brake pads in here. One, two, three, four. Yep. They're so good. That's good, Brad. I'm, I'm happy you enjoyed that. I wish I had drums. I'd love to do drums because I've never done drums before. Oh, let's go right there. Uh, we have these little stickers here. My hands are really dirty. I don't know if I want to put them on yet. Uh, let's see here. We got the cleaning brush. Let's see if I can clean that a little bit. Quick. Ow! As I poke myself like an idiot. Yeah, I can't do it with this cloth. Cloth will just get brought onto it everywhere. Doesn't help. Well, it'll stay dirty until next time I need it. Ooh, that was painful. Don't do that. Don't be stupid like me. Uh, let's see here. We need these bolts to stay. Those are my rotor back out bolts. There we go. Let's see if I can get a good picture here. Of the... So I can post on Instagram here real quick. Let's see here. Let's go like this. Hawk 
block right here. I'm going to go a little bit up. Try this, guys. I'm going to see how bad I am at taking pictures while I'm on stream. My fingers are so dirty, this thing's gonna look like. I have to clean this thing. Let's see here. Ah, oh, I didn't rotate. Guys, I'm stupid. I always turn off rotation and I mess it up. There we go. There we go. See if I can get a good picture of this. I have the Razer. Razer phone. Uh, it's just called a Razer phone. It's the game company Razer. See if I can get this on the screen real quick. Oh, gloss it. Gloss. No, there's a reflection. Well, it'll be on Instagram. A little nice picture of the brake pads and the rotors used. It's a nice phone. It came out the uh, ending of last year. I think it came out November or August, give or take. There we go. I'll fix that view a little bit. I'm work my way back over here. Yeah. That's what I forgot. I, I told myself I was going to bring out the water so I can kind of like rinse off my hands a little bit. I forgot it again. Yeah, I don't like iPhones. I. I I've done enough repairs on iPhones, I don't want to deal with an iPhone. I don't really care for Mac either. It used to be Mac certified, or I'm still partially Mac certified, so it doesn't expire, but I haven't dealt with a Mac in a long time. Fixing those things were bitches. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say there. Ah, oh, let's see here. Okay, we have all that stuff. I just need to put the stuff in the trunk. Dirty hands, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Dirty hands all the way around. It actually looks darker in the camera than it actually is, but it's because of lighting. Um, I think that's everything, actually. I think we're good. I think we're done. Just basically clean up and me running it all the way back up to the apartment. You got S9 Plus? Yeah, those Samsungs are great, I won't lie. Other than unless you get the old exploding battery thing. <laughs> then I can't say they're as great. I guess is the best way to say that one. I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. If I want to bring this all back upstairs, I'll put it all in the trunk again for a little bit. I'm just going to put it in the trunk. Sounds much better, right? Yeah, I think I'll put it in the trunk. We'll be some loading in the trunk here. Uh, let's move the laptop to the ground. Yep. Oh. Did you ever have uh, one of the... Um, did you have a Samsung before the S9? Or did you just like switch to the S9? Whew. Just wondering, I'm just being nosy. Check out one of these. Definitely gonna need it. There we go. Dirt rags. Cleaning rags, everything rag, everything everywhere. Oh. Yeah, before I put everything in there, let me put my wheel lock in. There we go. Wheel lock is put away. Stickers. Get an S6. Ah. I had an S5, haven't had an S6, but my mom loves, or my family I should say in general too, loves the S9 Plus. <laughs> yep. I pound that right into my hand. That was stupid of me. Towels there. Grab this. Put this back in here. I can get this to. There we go. Got my cushion so I don't damage anything. 
<laughs> there we go. Oh, I think that's everything now. I think we're good. Whew. This is actually much shorter stream. I don't make plenty up. Car doesn't look too bad. Good to be fixed a little bit. Anyways, any questions or anything, everybody that's watching? Hope you guys enjoyed it. My thing's a little bit crooked, I just realized. There we go. That should be right at me. Oh, man. Bit rate looks good. That's always nice to see. Somebody else just showed up. Ooh. Totally out here. From yesterday. Oh, well, time to end the stream here. I hopefully should be back on in about an hour or two. If you guys want to watch Gunpla, I enjoy building Gunpla. <laughs> if I'm not working on the car, in this case. So, again, Rad, Bart, and Zuku, thank you guys for joining and watching at this. And hope to see you guys in a few. Have a good one, guys. Actually, one second. I'm going to actually try to do a raid here. Let's see who's on for me so you guys can watch something because I told you I won't be back for another hour or so. So, I just thought about that. I was about to hang up. I was about to be like, ah, we're done for the day. Don't need to do anything. Dirty hands everywhere. Open new tab. Let's see if Murdoch started streaming yet here. Let's push you over to him. I think he's gonna be playing something maybe. Let's see if somebody else is doing automotive stuff. Do you guys think anybody else is? I don't know if they are. Let's go automotive. Automotive. Ah, guy gamers. I don't know what that means. Uh, let's go cars. None of, none of my friends are streaming, guys. This is horrible. I don't know what to say right now. Uh, okay, let's go IRL. Anything good in IRL? Anybody want to recommend me any to rate any channel that you guys have? Put their name in. I'll probably rate them. Uh, you guys can pop into another stream. It's something that you guys enjoy. There's a road trip somebody's doing. I wish I could read some of these. <laughs> I don't see anything. Wow, this is going horrible. I can't find anything. Somebody give me a suggestion. I'll pop it over. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I just popped into a channel that I didn't want to. Let's go create it. Let's see if anybody's doing Gunplay right now. That's what I'll hop this into. Oh, I can't type. Guys, my computer's telling me no. I'm saying no back. Uh, let's see here. I remember finding much better things here earlier. There we go. Let's see here. Anybody streaming? Oh, we got some people streaming here. Somebody's building a gumbo right here. Here we go, guys. I found us something nice. Something that I enjoy. Took me a little bit. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, everyone's offline. It's annoying. Anyways, I found us somebody. He's building a gumbo. Justin. Uh, oh, Justin I us builds. I don't know how to say that name. Let's go and rate him. I'm gonna start raiding here in a second. Ah, oh. here we go. The countdown is going, guys. I'm gonna see a Gumpa build going on. Yeah, man, this is a long countdown. I just realized this. <laughs> here we go. Two, one, zero. <laughs> Thank you.
Are you gonna while you're offline? Yes. Boom! There we go, guys.